Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to today's live. Good day, good day to you, Hazik Johari. Who's Vili Darwish? Uh, good day to you, Darwish. Jintot5, Siti Nur Jamal, and uh, everyone else. Welcome to tonight's live session, guys. How are y'all doing? A very nice Wednesday evening to everybody. How's everyone? Okay, looking forward to tomorrow's public holiday. Yes or no, guys? If it's a yes, smash that like button, guys. If you're looking forward to tomorrow, to a well-deserved break. Oh, like finally, I can sleep in a little bit more. Guys, looking forward to tomorrow? Smash that like button. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, friends. Today is another day of uh, the live class. My name is Coach Irfan from Mastermats. We are going to do vectors today okay so welcome a very very nice a warm welcome to everybody and uh, vectors is an important o levels topic all right you will learn it in the final year of secondary school so if you are sec one two and three you know if you are joining me today then do join with an open mind because some of these you may not have learned okay guys you may not have learned uh, some of these items all right so just gonna give you guys some time those who just joined welcome my friends is it a is it b is it c is it d which one is it what is your answer for this particular question welcome my friends Okay, friends, what is your answer for this question? Again, is it option A? Is it option B? Is it option C? Or is your answer option D? Which one is that? Okay, welcome, welcome everyone to tonight's live class. My name is Coach Irfan from the Master Maths Education Center. We are doing vectors today. Uh, vectors for secondary emats. Okay, just to share, during my time, vectors was tested also in the additional math syllabus. Okay, nowadays they took out vectors from emats. No more vectors in emats anymore. But back then, during my time, that was like almost twenty years ago. Vectors was included in emats as well. Okay, so uh, this time round is only in emats you see vectors. When you guys go to JC, okay, when you guys go to poly, okay, polytechnic, obviously not polyclinic, okay. When you guys go to JC and poly, you will also learn vectors. Uh, they will also input vectors into your mathematics syllabus. Not just in secondary school, it will be also useful for you if you decide to take A-levels next time. If you decide to go poly and study a course that requires mathematics, a science course, an engineering course, even if you do nursing, friends, mathematics is involved. Okay, you can ask your relatives, some of them are nurses. Ask them, did they learn any maths in their course? They will say, yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did learn some math in nursing even okay when you do business okay if you decide to study a business course mathematics is involved there that's why some of our friends say coach how come you are teaching maths why is maths so important you know my mother not, never used maths my daddy doesn't need to use mathematics in his daily life not really true okay when you study further courses you learn math there as well and in your daily life, you will use problem-solving techniques as well. Okay, someone will take one day to solve a problem in real life. You just take one hour. Okay, you can solve questions so fast. When it comes to investing your hard-earned money, 
right? In future, you'll be earning money, right, guys? Okay, you're, you're getting a salary, you know, or maybe you start a business and you get all these profits, you get all this money. What a good day to you, hi. You want to know how to invest, right? Now, all these mathematics is heavily involved, okay? Friends, anyways, what's your answer for this? Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? Uh, given that the position vector of P, O, P is negative 3 and negative 7, find the actual coordinates of P. My says answer is A. I just spread call, welcome to the live as well. Boovie89, Lemonade, hello. And uh, everybody else who is online today at home, tuning in from your mobile phones, welcome to the live. Guys, please share with me your thoughts here. Do you think the answer is A? Do you think the answer is B, C or D? Harish says the answer is C. He's very confident about that. Nash, Mr. Nash, welcome, man. Good day to you. Premi as well, welcome. Okay, C, Hazi Johari also says the answer is C. Sagar Bush, welcome. Mathematics can never beat a computer. Hmm, questionable. Okay, computers are probably designed by human beings who need mathematics to create these computers, right? Caden, welcome to the session as well. Caden says, the answer is C. JSL, thanks for the follow, man. Good day to you. Puja Ranjan, uh, 77, answer is C as well from you. Okay, many of you are saying the answer is C. Welcome, welcome, everybody. What is the coordinates of the point P? Those who just joined today, we are talking about vectors. Vectors is a topic that you learn in the final year of secondary school. It is tested in Cambridge GCE O-level examinations. Okay, so vectors is pretty important because, you know, when you advance your studies after secondary, post-secondary studies, you will also learn vectors again. All right, Knight, aka Fay, welcome to the session as well. Says the answer is C. All right, Aloysius, welcome. Welcome, welcome. TC Jong, welcome to the session as well. Good day. My friends, what do you think the value of a coordinates P is? Okay, I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds. And in 30 seconds, we will be discussing the answer for this particular question. Okay, so let's all take that 30 seconds to try this question you have about 20 plus seconds more to tell me what is your answer vectors in a levels in is cancerous partially agree with you Aloysius because it's not that easy in a levels huh? you learn plain vectors 3d vectors okay I remember those days guys you have another five seconds to tell me what is your answer is it a is it b is it c is it d three two and one let's go okay friends this is a called a, a position vector, okay? When you see an arrow right here at the top, okay? Uh, this is called a, a position vector, okay? A position vector of what? Position vector of a P. This is the position vector of point P. And when you see position vectors, my friends, the word position always means that you start from the origin O. Okay, O is the origin. Okay, so you start from the origin and you're trying to go towards point P. So let us draw what's happening here. Okay, so if you draw the X and Y axis, you start from the origin and to get to P, my friends, you are moving a negative 3 across the x-axis. So this is your x-axis movement. Alright, so this one here is your x-axis movement. Okay, which means the bottom number here, a negative 7, is your y-axis movement, my friends. Okay, so again, you start from the origin and you move across the x-axis negative 3 units, meaning you got to use, you got to proceed negative 3 units across the x-axis, meaning you from here, you will be going towards negative 3 units like this. This is negative 3. And from here, you move downwards by 7 because that is the y-axis movement, which is negative 7. 
and you land yourself at this particular point right here. All right, so what is the coordinates over there? Uh, over here, the x coordinate is negative 3. Over here, if you trace to the y axis, the y coordinate is negative 7. So right smack at this point P, the coordinates of point P is nothing but negative 3 and negative 7. All right, so again, position vector, you start from the origin, you move across the x-axis, negative 3 means you are moving to the left. Negative 7 across the y-axis, it means you are moving downwards. All right. So negative 3 and negative 7, it means you go left and then you go down. Go left by 3 units, go down by 7 units. And the point P, you can achieve the point P which has a, a value of a negative 3 and negative 7. Slay, teach slay. All right, man, kick lover. Guys, basically all this question is teaching us is this. The position vector of a point is exactly equals to the coordinates of that point. All right? So if the position vector is negative 3 and negative 7, the point is literally just negative 3, negative 7, full stop. So the answer for this question, guys, I give you all some time, revise your answer. Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? Which one is it? Let me know, please. What is the coordinates of a P? If you're paying attention, you are fantastic. You can tell me your answer already. Guys, is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Is it Cake Lover, thank you very much. Nash, thanks for liking, man. Okay, Hazik Johari says it's C far. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Good day to you guys. Okay, Puja Ranjan says it's a C as well. So the answer for this particular question, position vector is exactly the coordinates which tells us that our answer for this question is option C. Very nice. Okay, so I hope this is clear, guys. When you see position vector, don't waste time. Just select your coordinates exactly there and you are able to say that, hey, the coordinates is basically the position vector, full stop. Okay, now those who just joined, today we are doing part one of vectors, okay? There will be another day where we do part two, okay? And that is another time, okay? Part two of vectors. Today is really just an introduction of Vectors, guys, how many of you want to see the part one basic concepts of vectors? Smash that heart button so that I can move on to the next page. Guys, let's go, let's go. Ba -ba -bang. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, nice. Very nice. Ah, this is the introduction to vectors part one first. Okay, so we talk about the first part of vectors here. And uh, let me speak to y'all about the first part, which is vectors relating to coordinate geometry, guys. Ah, PSLE math, not today. Okay, PSLE math is on Tuesdays. Jivan Dramini, uh, Jen, Jen Dramini, thank you very much for your kind compliment there. I hope you learned, learned well here. Okay, hola, hola, good day to you, B. Hola, man. Okay, friends. Coordinate geometry is closely linked to vectors. Aha. Uh -huh. Like I said earlier, if you have position vector, it is basically your coordinates. Again, it only works for position vector. Okay, let me share with you guys some examples. Let's say you have the coordinates A, which is 5 and 3. Okay, the coordinates A is 5 and 3. Then the position vector of A, again, position vector, position always starts from the origin, as I've shared. Always starts from the origin, okay? So position vector of A, position starts with origin, is always just the coordinates itself. So if I ask you, hey, what is the position vector of A? Then you investigate what is the coordinates of A because that will exactly be equal to the position vector of A. All right, so let me explain that in a little bit more details. Now, since A is 5 and 3, if you were to sketch, guys, if you were to sketch X and Y axis and you put A there as 5 and 3, I zoom in for you guys again. 
Okay, if you were to sketch it out and then you put A as 5 and 3. Okay, very nice. How would you go from the origin to A? Dang, dang. How would you go looking at the diagram? You can go from O to A by traversing 5 units across the X axis. It's always X movement first. Guys, always X movement first. Okay? 5 units across the X axis followed by 3 units across the Y axis. So that is why the position vector is always just the coordinates itself. Alright? So if you were to write this down in terms of position vector, okay, the position vector of A is just O to A and that is just 5 and 3. Okay, I hope this is clear for you guys. Now, likewise, if you have another coordinates of B here, okay, let me zoom in for you guys. Let's say you have a coordinates of 3 and negative 2, guys. Huh? 3 units across the x-axis, negative 2 units across the y-axis. How do you write the position vector again? Position vector always starts from origin. Okay, Cake Lover says that. Very fantastic job from you, man. Okay, so when you start from the origin and you want to go to B, how do you go from O to B? You have to traverse, you have to move 3 units across the x-axis and negative 2 units across the y. Why negative 2 across the y-axis? Why? Because you're moving downwards. Okay? You're moving downwards, you're not moving upwards. Upwards is positive. If you're going downwards, it's negative. So again, the position vector of B starts from the origin. It is just nothing but 3 and negative 2, which is actually your coordinates of B. So again, let's write B down here. In the diagram, B is 3 and negative 2. Very nice. So position vector is basically the coordinates. Guys, if you understand this concept, all right, please smash that like button, smash that love so that more people can learn and more people can join this live for their benefit. Guys, give your five seconds to do this, okay? Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Thanks for sharing as well, friends. Really appreciate that. Twist. Okay. Super. Okay, you guys are doing fantastic today, okay? Now, so that is position vector. Position vector always starts from the origin. Okay, that's pretty clear for us. Let's move on, friends, to other type of vectors. Example, a column vector. Okay, if let's say, for example, you have a non-position vector, which is just a general uh, column vector. A, B. Example, look at this diagram here. Okay, A, B is a column vector. Method number one, how do you find the vector A, B? How do you go from Kuala Lumpur to Singapore. How do you go from KL down to Singapore? Let's use, let's use a thicker line here so that you guys can see clearer. How do you, oh my gosh, that's too thick. Sorry. How do you go from, uh, guys, how do you go from KL to Singapore? And you must, you must follow through a route that you know, a pathway that you know, guys. From KL, you are trying to go back to Singapore. How do you do that? Can you go this way in a pathway that I have no idea about? Okay, go here and then go here. Cannot, right? I mean, technically you can, but you don't have any pathway, right? You need to have a pathway for yourself. Nash, thank you very much. Nash says AO plus OB. Again, if you want to go from KL to Singapore, you can go from KL to JB first. Johor Bahru. And then Johor Bahru to Singapore. Get it? Because you know the road already. Okay? So again, to go from A to B, you can go AO first plus OB. Understand the logic there? Okay, you can go AO first and OB now. And that is the second method. Now, first method, just look at the diagram. You see, huh? if you want to go from A to B, right? One way, okay, one way you can do, right, is to go from 5 to 3. Okay, this is 3, right? This is 5. Am I right? Again, this is 5 here and this is 3. So, to go from A to B, you can move to the left twice. 
two units, so negative two, all right? And then from here, you go downwards. This is one way, am I right? So negative two across the X axis and across the Y axis, my friends, you are moving three units plus another two units to land at negative two here from three to negative two. So again, from five to three, you got to move negative two units and then you move downwards three, downwards another two units in total downwards by five units. Understand? Downwards means negative. Leftwards means negative as well. So, in effect, if you want to go from A to B, guys, you got to go negative 2, negative 5. Okay? That is the first method. Or, like I said earlier, method 2, you can go from A to O and then O to B. That is totally fine as well. Okay? Again, if you want to go from KL to Singapore, you can go KL to JB first and then JB to Singapore. So, you can go AO plus OB. A O plus O B. And how do you remember this? Just split your vector into two. Okay, you can always do that. Split this up into two parts. And in between, you put a common point. In this case, from A to B, the common point is O. Joho Baru. Okay? And A O, you can just change it to negative O A. It's just opposites of each other. So negative O A plus O B. You put in your negative signs, you add the vectors up together. So negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. A negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Finish. Method 1 and method 2 is exactly the same. My friends, I hope this is clear for you guys now. If you do not have the notes for today, I highly encourage that you do a screenshot. Okay? Guys, do a screenshot of this page. Don't know whether you guys can screenshot or not this one. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Okay, you can do a quick screenshot uh, so that you can have this in your gallery. You can refer to this a little bit more as well. Okay, my friends, let us move on to the next question for today, which is question number two. Wow, this is pretty long. <laughs> Let's see who can get this correct. Okay, I'm going to give you guys uh, three minutes to solve this question. Your three minutes starts now. Let's go. Uh, given that OP is negative 3, negative 7, OQ is 6 and negative 8, express QP as a column vector. Again, those who just joined, welcome to today's live. Nash, thanks for spamming the like, man. Really appreciate that a lot. My friends, is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Is it D? Which one is your best option for this question? Uh. Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? Which one is it? Two more minutes. You don't have to draw this. Okay, Clover, you can use method number two. Okay. Harish says answer is B. Okay, he's pretty confident there. Anyone else? One and a half minutes left. Let's go. Nash says it's B. Hazi Johari says it's B as well. Let me sleep forever says it's B. Okay. Fantastic job, guys. You have one more minute. Then I'll discuss the answer for this question, okay? Jaden Tan, welcome as well, man. Good day to you. Jaden Tan says it's B. Okay, nice.
Okay, you have 20 seconds more. What is the value of vector Q to P, guys? QP, QP. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and blast off. Let's go. Now to find the vector QP. All right, we can break this up into two separate vectors, QO and OP. Okay, and the thing is, we already have OP very nicely. And that is a negative 3 and negative 7. So that's super nice for us. Okay. Negative 3, negative 7. Okay. So OP settled. Now the only small problem we have now is the vector QO. Which is not a very, very uh, big impossible challenge for us because a QO, okay, when you're going from Q to O is just opposite from O to Q. Okay, so in vectors, when you reverse the letters, okay, again guys, let's say you want to reverse this to BA. They are basically equals to each other, it's just that one is negative of the other. Okay, so when you reverse the letters, you put a negative on one of the terms. So in this case, QO I do not have, but I have OQ. So how can I make them equals? Yes, you can make them equal, but you got to put a, a negative OQ here when you flip the letters. Okay, I hope you are clear on this trick. Again, this is a trick for vectors. When you switch the letters, when you sort them, just put a negative sign in front, that's all. Okay, so what's negative OQ? Let's put a negative sign in front here. A 6 and negative 8 plus a negative 3 and negative 7. My friends, this will become negative 6 and positive 8. Why? Because when the negative goes in, your signs will change. And uh, plus negative 3 and negative 7. Let's put this thingy down. Okay, now you do term by term. So negative 6. Oops, it is Negative 6 plus negative 3. And that is negative 9. Okay, guys, 8 minus 7, uh, that is a positive 1. Answer is negative 9 and 1. My friends, which is your answer now? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Option is obviously B now that you know the trick to this vector's problem. Okay, Sid Tartella, welcome to the session as well. Divish and everybody else. Hazik Johari, thanks for the like, man. Guys, if you understand what's happening here, all right, I'm very happy for you that you understand this. Take your knowledge further. Try more questions. Okay? Try a little bit more questions. Try and challenge yourself a little bit more with more exciting problems. Now, friends, let us move on to the next question. Question number three. Now, this is pretty interesting. Okay? This all can certainly come out in the O-levels. Okay? These are all uh, GCE O-level questions. Okay, the point in the diagram has the coordinates of P and 4. Okay, so over here is P, 4. It is given that the magnitude of A is 5. Magnitude means it's the length of A, which is 5. This is the vector A here in case they are not so clear, in case you can't really see. Let me just blow it up for you. This is vector A. Okay, this is an arrow here. Okay, find the value of P. This is a question that we have for ourselves now. Okay, so again, the vector A is a blue line there. Let me zoom in for you guys. Okay, I hope this is better now. Okay, that's A there. All right, so how do I find the value of P because you're given the magnitude of uh, this vector? Okay. Friends, another three, uh, I think I think you just need two minutes for this. Lah. Okay, just two minutes is good enough. Okay, it's good enough. Two minutes, let's go. Pythagoras, yes. That's possible as well.
Nash say answer is A. Pretty fast, Nash. Good job from you. <coughs> TVEC, super money. Welcome. All right, one and a half minutes left. Friends, question three is next. How to find the value of P. Okay, you have make America great again. Yeah, 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 man. Bro, me and Vectors cannot lay. Definitely can. Okay, definitely can. Harish, welcome to the session as well. Harish says A is the answer. Okay, Zigzag. Good day to you. Hazik Johari as well says A. Cake lover. Okay. Guys, just curious. Uh, which part of Singapore do you all stay? North side, west side, east side? South side, central side. Which side of Singapore are y'all residing at? Let me know in the chat, guys. Jaden Tan says answer is A. I'm in the UK. Fantastic. Welcome to the session as well. Okay. UK fellas. Good day. Twenty seconds, man. Anthony Boshoff says Australia. Fantastic, Anthony. Good day to you. Hope you learn a lot here. Harish from Farrah Park. Jaden, Malaysia side. Which side from Malaysia? Wow, fantastic. We have a global audience here. Singapore. Nice to know, guys. All right. So we have a vectors question here. Okay. What's the answer for this particular question for the point P? Now, in order to do this well, there are two methods available. You can either use Pythagoras' theorem or you can use the formula for magnitude okay for magnitude of vector so since we have the vector a which is p and 4 again if you start from the origin guys earlier on we discussed this if you start from the origin your vector is basically your coordinates right so if you want to find the magnitude of a my friends the magnitude of a uh, this will just be the square root of a p square plus a 4 square. Whatever the x coordinate is, put it here. Whatever the y coordinate is, put it here. Alright? Now, p, comma, a 4. Again, if you're not sure, just put a p there and the 4 there. Magnitude means length. Okay? The length of this line here is 5. So basically, again, it's a Pythagoras theorem concept here. Okay, when you take the length here, let's say, for example, the length is L. Okay, the length of this line is L. So there's a 90 degrees over here. Let me zoom in for you guys. Okay, so this is L, for example. So by Pythagoras' theorem, L square is just a P square plus 4 square. Okay, so p squared plus 4 squared and l is just plus minus square root p squared plus 4 squared. You can ignore the negative because length is always positive. Okay, friends. Now, let's go on to this. So we have the magnitude of this uh, a here, which is 5. All right. So let's write that down. So 5 is equals to p squared plus 4 squared square rooted. Okay, and in order to remove that square root, we will square both sides. All right, we will go to the 5 and we will square that guy as well. So we will have 5 square is equals to P square plus a 4 square. 25 is equals to P square plus 16. All right, friends. Now we bring the 16 over. So 25 minus 16 is just P square. P square is just 9. P is just plus minus root 9. P is 3 or negative 3. Okay? So friends, I'm going to ask you guys a question. P is on this side of the diagram here. P is on the left side of your x-axis. So could you let me know in the chat box, friends? What do you think the value of P is? Is it 3 or is it negative 3? There are two options, by the way. Okay, there are two options. Let me know in the chat, guys. Is it 3 or is it negative? Have a look. This is on the left side. Be very careful about that, friends. If it is on the left side, Neofrost, Fire as well, Nash, Cake Lover, and everybody else who commented. 
Guys, if it's on the left of your x-axis, then you will choose negative 3 as your answer. How do you prevent careless mistakes? Right? Many a times, careless mistakes are not really careless mistakes, Sean. Okay? It's, it may be a mistake due to concepts, problems. Like you don't understand the concept. Or maybe you calculated wrongly. Okay? One way to minimize careless mistakes is to ensure that you do this thing called a step-by-step -step check before you write the next step. Literally before you move on to the next step and you start writing. You will always check the step that you have just written. Okay, check that first, guys. Check the step that you, you just written. And then once that is comfortable, once that is clear, then only you move on to the next step. Okay, that is the best way to combat careless mistakes. And of course, you need to clear your doubts in math. Okay, that is the main root cause of issues, right? Whenever you have doubts, you know, somehow the doubts come out in the exams. You don't clear your doubts, somehow the doubts come out in your exams. Right? You will feel that, oh, coach, I don't think it's going to come out in the exam, so let's just brush it aside. Turns out in the exam, that exact same question came out. How many of you had that experience before? Tap the like button. <laughs> Guys. Okay, so always clear your doubts. Okay, no matter how small you think they are, okay, they may be very, very important. Coach, why is that two lines at A? So this is, when you write two lines, right, Isaac, this means length. Okay, this means you are talking about length of that particular vector. This wavy sign means you are dealing with a vector. These lines here means you are talking about the length of this line. Alicia, good day to you. Wow, a bit late uh, today. Okay, we are already at question three. My friends, we move on today to question number four, our final question for today. Let's go. This is where we'll talk about parallel vectors. Length is also magnitude. You're right, Chan. Nisha Gafur 746, thanks for sharing this live now. Those who just joined, please do me a short, simple favor. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to do this, okay? Because really, uh, we want more people to like this live and join and benefit from these sessions. My friends, could you just smash that share button at the bottom there? I'm going to give you guys five seconds to do this, okay? Five, four, three, to end one. Thank you very much. Wow, amazing. Thanks for all the share, guys. Okay, friends. Question number four. You are given PR. You are given OQ. And the key information here is that PR is parallel to OQ. Now, find the value of R. Whereas R, R is stuck inside this vector. Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? Which is your best answer for this particular question? And please let me know in two minutes. Okay, this is just a two minutes question. Let's go. Super. Jaden Arish says, answer is C. Okay, welcome, welcome. New Frostfire says, answer is C as well. Thank you so much for all your responses, guys. Joju, welcome to the live as well. Good day to you all. Guys, you have 1 minute and 15 seconds left, Alicia. B or A or C or D or which one is it? Fantastic guys, fantastic. One more minute. Exactly one minute, let's go. Parallel vectors, you need to link the two vectors up together. Okay guys, you uh, legit need to link them up together first and then you find the value of R, okay?
Okay, 10 more seconds. Okay, time's up guys. Time's up. Okay, created a poll there. Okay, for those of you who are still online today, there is a poll. Coach, slay people, slay. What's the meaning of slay? I hear that a lot, man. Slay, slay, slay. What's slay, guys? I hear that a lot from you guys, which is a Gen Alpha, or are you guys Gen Z? Let's search for the word slay. Guys, what is the meaning of this slay? Oh, okay, Alicia, yeah, I forgot about that. A slay means to kill a person. Oh my gosh. Guys. How can this be? Why do girls say slay? Okay, let me see. Alright, as for the slang slates, especially... F oh my goodness. Urban Dictionary. When someone looks impre uh, the act of completely okay. Goodness, guys. Okay, thanks for teaching me something new. <laughs> Alright. Okay, friends. Let us move on to how do we find the value of R. Okay? When you have two lines parallel to each other, okay, what you can do first is uh, to write your vectors in an equation form. Okay, so you will literally do this. So PR is parallel means you put equals to K times OQ. Okay, so K times of OQ. So this automatically mean, means that PR is parallel to OQ. I hope this is clear for you guys. Again, huh? when you write it in an equation like this, it means a PR is a parallel to OQ, whereby K is a constant. Okay, K is just a constant that will never change. Now, if this is already K here, guys, listen up to this. Let's say this particular value is already K. Please do not use K here. Use a different letter. Is vectors the hardest topic? Not really. Guys, if they've already given us a K here in the question, do not use K anymore. Use any other letters in the alphabet system. Okay? So in this case, K is not there. So we can use K. So R, negative 4. And then you have K here. OQ is 6 and negative 8. Guys, settle the battle in the kettle. Okay, my friends, bring the K in. R and negative 4 is equals to multiply K inside. So when you do that, K is multiplied in, K is multiplied in here as well. And you will be left with a 6K negative 8K. My friends, if you understand this, we take it a step further because now we have to equate the values together. R has to be equal to eight, uh, 6K and negative 4 has to be equal to negative 8K. My friends, this is clear. So again, every time you have parallel vectors, just write your equations as such. Okay, now this is equation 1 and this is equation number 2. All right, now from the second equation, my friends, okay, from the second equation, we know that negative 4 is negative 8k. Let's write it down again. Second equation, negative 4 is negative 8k. And we can bring the negative 8 down, bring it down, and this is just going to be k. And therefore, k is just equals to, let me know in the chat box, guys, what is the value of k? Negative 4 divided by negative 8. My friends, what do you think K is? 
negative 4 uh, divide by negative 8. Yasin, check it again, man. Check your calculator. Hazik, check it. Negative 4 divided by negative 8 shouldn't be 2. How do you guys get 2, guys? It should be half. Okay, cake lover, new frost fire. Alright, so this is... Jaden, thanks, man. This is just half. Alright, now once you get K is half, you are then able to find the value of R from the first equation. Okay, from the first equation. Alright, you are able to find the value of R. Now, I'm going to give you guys some time. You take this K as half, plug it into equation 1, and tell me what is the value of R as required in this question. Friends, one minute. Let's go. Zamir, good day to you. Thanks for participating, man. Good day to you as well. Ajmal, welcome to the live. Good day. Those on IG, welcome. Those on TikTok, good day to you as well. Okay. K is a scale factor, that's right. Okay, now you've got K is half. How do I find an R? Zamir, thanks. You got k is half. Plug this into equation one. This is sort of like a simultaneous equation problem. And we are able to now find the value of r, which is six times half. Six times half, guys. Alright. So therefore, based on equation one, r is 6k, which is six times half. And my friends, the value of r is just three. So that will be option C. All right. Cake lover, thanks for your explanation, man. Really appreciate that a lot. Okay. So friends, again, when you see parallel vectors, okay, when they are saying PR is parallel to OQ, immediately write this down. Just ensure that this letter is not used already. Okay that this letter is not used. Uh, Harish, um, in a few minutes, we will end this life, okay? All right, so you put K times OQ is there very nicely, and then you bring the K in, equate your two equations, find the value of K first, and then find R next, finish. Okay, now friends, we have come to the end. I really appreciate your time, even though tomorrow is a public holiday, you guys are still here learning some mathematics. All right, my friends, those of you who are still online, what topic do you want me to do next? This is Vectors Part 1. We will do Vectors Part 2 another time. But next week, what are the topics that you like me to start on? Let me know in the chat box. Come on, let's go. i give you guys some time. Samad Hari Raya. Yeah, man. It Mubarak to you, Zamir. Nice to see you here, man. Wait, don't Singaporeans have summer holiday? Cake lover, no, no, no. Uh, our holidays start at the end of this year, which is November and December. In June, we have we have a holiday in June as well, but that's not called a summer holiday. That is uh, just a school holiday, which is already done and dusted. Okay, Cosine. Some of you want Cosine. Okay, Cake lover, welcome, man. Please do follow us on our TikTok. Okay, it Mubarak matrices. Okay, integration, please. All right, circle properties. Okay, some more, some more. Anyone else? Circle properties is a quite a hot topic. We will do that. Okay, we'll try and find some time for that. Graph of functions and graphical solutions. Okay. Okay, guys. Take a note off. Okay, next time we will consider some of these things. Integration, additional math, all right? Cake lover, what exams do you take? Do you take the GCSE exams? IGCSE exams? What exams is that there? Why got scooter over there? Guys, you all like this scooter? Do you all like this? GCSE, fantastic. All the best for your exams as well. Very similar to what they are taking here in Singapore. Circle theorem. Further maps. Fantastic. How do you find determinant? Guys, how many of you like this uh, scooter? 
can be fire bike yeah that's why <laughs> this is probably a vespa Ding ding ding. Okay, friends, those who are still here online together with me, thank you very much for your time this evening in Singapore. Okay, X Max scooter, vroom vroom. Okay, my friends, this scooter is my daughter's actually. So it ended up on my table. I don't know how, but it's just there. Okay, those who are still online, guys, don't forget to follow us on Mastermats today or Mastermats SG on IG. And then the Master Maps today is on TikTok, okay? So smash that follow button because we do weekly lives at least twice. Okay, next week, we're going to start on additional math as well. Okay, uh, uh, three times every single week, we go on live. So smash that follow button at the top so that you never miss out on a free class and you never miss out on our free tutorials. Guys, thank you very much, everyone. Take care and I hope you have a nice Eid Mubarak, those who are celebrating those who are not celebrating, happy holidays. And we shall catch up again next week. Same time, same place. Tweets, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, guys. See y'all. Thanks, thanks. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Take care. That's how I end this. Ciao, ciao, ciao. See you all.